Hey guys, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here. And today we're actually talking about software that you own, or rather, you don't. Now, I've done videos in the past where I'm basically talking about some of the stuff that you buy, such as music or books through Amazon, like let's say Kindle or iTunes and stuff like that, you don't actually own. And there have been cases where people have bought books only to have the publishers withdraw those books from Amazon, and then Amazon goes ahead and removes those uh, from your Kindle or your other mobile devices, even though you actually paid the money and you're not exactly getting a refund here. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is, okay, we buy books, we buy movies. Those are smaller charges, one-off kinds of things. Obviously, they add up over time. But what about software that we use for productivity, for business, and everything else? And I am talking about Adobe. Now, recently, and I've got notes here. I think this is absolutely fascinating. This comes from Vice News. Adobe is now warning some of their users of the Creative Cloud software um, that they are no longer allowed to use older versions of the software. And again, this is just another example of this. Now, Adobe this week began sending some users of uh, Lightroom Classic, Photoshop, Premiere, Animate, and Media Director a letter warning them that they were no longer legally authorized to use software they, may, they might have purchased and believe they own. And I quote, from the email that Adobe sent out. We have recently discontinued certain older versions of Creative Cloud applications, and as a result, under the terms of our agreement, you are no longer licensed to use them. Please be aware that you should continue to use the discontinue... Uh, please be aware that should you, you, should you continue to use the discontinued versions, you may be at risk for potential claims of infringement by third parties. Now, this is actually very interesting because a lot of us, for whatever reason, might be using older software. Maybe it has better functionality. Maybe we know it very well. Maybe there was a radical change from you know version one to version two, whatever those versions are. But if we are actually paying for the software, then shouldn't we have rights to own it even if Adobe is no longer going to support it? Perfect example, if I buy a physical copy of, let's say, Microsoft Office, and I'm running Office 2010, and Microsoft says, well, it's not supported in Office 365, and we're not going to support Office 2010, I still own the software. I bought the physical copy. I can use it, even if they're not updating it, basically until I don't want to use it anymore or I choose to pay for it. Now, with Creative Cloud, people are paying for subscriptions, but that gives them access to the software that they're paying for from older versions to new, and if people believe that they have purchased these things, or they have, let's say, uh, at face value, entered into a contractual agreement of ownership with these, that begs the question, is Adobe in the right here to actually do this? Which is the overall message here, or the overall question rather, is, is this a right thing to do? If we are purchasing software, I don't care if it's books or movies or music, or let's say productivity software like Adobe products, do we actually own those things and should we have the right to continue to use them even if they're older versions, even if Adobe doesn't like it because we bought it and we own it? And so that is the question of today. I thought that this was absolutely interesting and it was another major blow, I think, to, to the licensing cloud model that we all use. So for example, I have an Amazon Kindle. I download, I read books on it all the time. And it's one of those things that I would really hate a book that I'm reading to be removed because the publisher says no. We also use Adobe products in business as well and have a Creative Cloud subscription. And I would like to think that that if my people that are using this are using older versions of it, there's it's for a very good reason and they should not be forced to upgrade simply because you know we're not saving things through Creative Cloud. We're simply getting the software through it. And so that is, I think, a very interesting question because the only thing that, that I think a lot of us are doing is not necessarily updating and collaborating through Adobe Cloud, and I'm sure plenty of you are, but a lot of us are not. Now, we have to go ahead and, and fight and combat this, which I think is, is a serious, serious issue, especially if we're paying for it. And what happens if we cancel our subscriptions? Do we then get the, the licensing for the software revoked that we've already paid for? It's a good question to ask. And so I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And that is your news of the day. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And as always, stay safe and stay online. Thanks, guys.